In this demo, we're going to look at RFSG in Instrument Studio, controlling NI signal generators from the Instrument Studio application. Here, I'm going to create a large panel and select the millimeter wave VST as my instrument, as I'm going to be generating signals in the FR2 range. Here's the RF signal generator software panel. In the meantime, I'm going to open the analysis software panel as well to see the signal. I'm going to configure it to 28 gigahertz, and then I'm going to generate the stimulus signal also at 28 gigahertz. So here, I just configure the frequency of operation. I can select the output power that I would like and the RF port that I'm going to use for this signal. I turn it on and there it is on the RFMX software panel, we can see the CW stimulus. I can also tune at different frequencies, move it down and up in frequency. I can also change the output power. So in this case, let me move the output power here. So I'm going to reduce the power and you see here that the signal drops. I'm going to recenter it and then move the power back up and there you have it. Now let's look at the interactive case. I'm going to launch a Visual Studio project here and run the code that's going to sweep the frequency. So this example code helps me to sweep from a low frequency to a higher frequency, configure the power of the generator, and uh, I can visualize the signal on the RFMX analysis software panel. While, it, while the code is running, I can see what the vector signal generator is doing uh, on the RFSG Instrument Studio window. So I can be monitoring the behavior of the generator here. I can also place a breakpoint in the frequency sweep loop to troubleshoot my application. Once I start the code, we see that the generator produces the tone at a specific frequency, at the bottom of the frequency range. Now I can press the control button on the RFSG software panel and take control of the signal generator independent from the automation code. Here I can change the signal power, I can tune it to different frequencies, and I can use this as a debugging tool to troubleshoot some problem that I could have with my circuit. So let me tune it here at uh, a different frequency and uh, observe what could be happening with my device under test, see if the problem appears at all frequencies or only at selected frequencies. I can go back to the code and continue running the code and as it hits the breakpoint, it stops. Then I can remove that breakpoint and allow the code to continue running as it was. RFSG in Instrument Studio also has an arbitrary waveform generator mode. So here I'm going to select ARB mode and a particular new radio, 5G new radio signal in FR2. So I load the waveform that I have previously created and I can observe here what are some of the settings of that waveform. The IQ rate, signal bandwidth, and peak to average power ratio, for example. I can also enable a marker on sample zero so that it's easier for me to synchronize the generated signal with the analyzer. I enable one of the trigger lines through the PXI backplane and now that's the trigger line that I'm going to use for analyzing this signal. So I run the uh, generation here 
and the signal generator is going to start producing this 5G new radio signal at 28 gigahertz. I can also open the new radio personality to enable specific 5G new radio measurements such as ACP or ACLR as you see here on the top left and demodulation of this uh, 100 megahertz wide signal. Now I turn the generator off and this concludes our short demo on RFSG in Instrument Studio.